Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero. Welcome back to, well, behind the scenes of Flickr, which is the project code name I developed quickly while these images are on screen. This is kind of what I looked. This is what I looked at basically when I was designing it. Um, so as you can tell, it's really fast. You know, jump cuts, all that crap, and. There, if you can see in the, I'm pointing at the screen. If you can see that in the top left corner on the first two, there's that kind of four pane thing. That basically means that there was a fade out or some sort of after effect applied to them, just in case you were curious. And then below it, obviously, is the waveforms for the music, and then the waveform for the actual audio, which I left in in some cases. Uh, here's a lower view of it, um, which I left in in some cases just to kind of give it some. Um, well, character, I guess you could call it. Uh, for example, the haystack, when I land in the haystack in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, um, somebody killed that fucker from Crisis 2 when I blew up the explosive barrels. Uh, casualty from when I shot that guy with a science pistol and stabbed his buddy in the neck. And... I bl oh yeah, oh yeah, what the hell is that from Crisis 3 meeting the uh, Field Commander Ceph unit. And then, also, quickly in the very bottom here, you can see the Mass Effect, all the logos. Interesting story with that, as I'm actually going to show you some cut-it-out gameplay here. This is Assassin's Creed. I, was just, I wanted a jumping shot, and I ended up not using this. A lot, of, a lot of the stuff I recorded, I ended up not using. But anyway, Windows Movie Maker was giving me a hassle with um, adding in pre-recorded videos, which I do anyway, and here I just wanted some stealthing, and that didn't actually make the cut. And... Um, so Windows Movie Maker wasn't exactly liking it, so I killed it. And this is a funny thing I found. Yeah, that's right. I made the assassin skip. Skip to the snow. And then it became a hill. So, and here's some pretty awesome um, attacking gameplay. This is actually one of these scenes I used for the actual final, but this is the full fight, just in case you were wondering. This is when I was using that uh, large battle axe sort of thing. Anyway. Windows Movie Maker was giving me trouble, so essentially I had to improvise, and that improvisation was going onto Google Images, finding pictures of all the games I've played, and um, basically displaying them. Uh, yeah. So this isn't really supposed to be an update video. It's supposed to be behind the scenes of Flickr, and this is what it is. This is you're looking at some of the scenes that I thought were kind of cool to show you, because a lot of it was basically me just recording, running around seeing what I what random crap I could get into. And I do not know how I managed to miss that guy. And you're about to see No, he dies, I think. Yes, he does die. But this guy gets on my nerves a lot. And there's one of these these guys are so hard to kill. And another scene that I actually don't have in this, um I I get shot here by the way. I was um taking down two of these two of these guys and I hit this other guy like eight times. Here's the scene from the thing. I hit him about eight times with his battle axe and then he came back swimming, swinging after I'd taken care of two more of his friends. Anyway, yeah, so I kind of kind of rusty in my combat here so I've, well, not gotten as good with Assassin's Creed 3 combat. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood I can do fairly well now actually, but Assassin's Creed 3 not so well after playing it, have, after not playing it for about four months. But anyway, yeah, here, this guy totally ducks under and slashes me. So I have to, of course, brain him in the head repeatedly, then in the side, then in the face, and then he's dead. And this dog, I think it attacked me at some point. But anyway, I shot him because it just basically because I didn't want to pick up my weapon. And that dog was kind of like, okay, man, you just you killed everything. And then here's some Crisis 3. Um, if you recall, you can grab a tank in one of the missions, and this is one of the side missions, actually, what I'm heading to right now. It's where you can take out, well, help a mortar team, a cell mortar team, and then they will let you paint targets, and they will take it out with one with their mortar. It only works once, sadly, but you still can still do it. Anyway, here I'm using the tank to take out the, um, uh, what are those? Seth, Coloss Seth Colossus? I can't, I can't remember what they were. And that's me discovering that I have missiles. Um, and they actually don't fly far enough, I don't think, to actually impact on any of these guys. But the main cannon certainly does. 
Yeah, that's totally effective, little blue blob. Um, yeah, so Audio Machine. Let me talk about the music in here. I used the Audio, mach audio Machine track Nemesis, and I actually contacted them through Facebook, and they're... The guy who responded to me was super nice and everything. They were like, okay, yeah, sure, you can use our music. Um, so I would encourage, if you guys ever wanted some epic music, you can buy it off of them. I'm not, I'm, I am not—I'm, plugging them right now. That's basically what I'm doing, because they allowed me to use the track. And I obviously could have just used it myself, but I wanted to make this kind of official. So I actually talked to a whole bunch of um, people from different gaming companies to see if I could use and these clips and since I've already have most of their stuff already posted on my channel it wasn't much point but here I remember from my crisis 3 playthrough before that this water got deep so you can't carry the tank all the way through it's basically a tank stopper I, I th maybe you can go to the right I'm not sure anyway uh, yeah so anyway I, I contacted some game developers to see if I could use their um stuff and most of them replied EA I've got nothing against EA I mean sometimes they make games and their customer support is actually fairly good when it came to Mass Effect because I had a whole bunch of problems with the multiplayer in the beginning and the guys on their customer service team for Mass Effect was were pretty good yeah they were, they were good I talked to I think I've talked gone through the entire group I had that many problems uh, I'm not saying anything bad about them of course I'm just not I'm just gonna stop talking uh, EA was the only one who didn't reply, even though I sent them multiple times, and nothing against them or anything, but, you know, apply. Reply. <laughs> and here's some more Far Cry 3, f or no, not more, here's some Far Cry 3 footage that didn't quite make the cut. I had set up a whole bunch of mines, and I had expected them not to go off once, so... Whoops. So I'm just bringing back the Reaper here, using the Reaper to take down enemies at long range, which isn't what it's supposed to do. This is supposed to basically destroy vehicles in about a 200 rounds. Not 200 rounds, about 100 rounds. Maybe 75 or so. So I give a little nod at the end there. And here's a token to the Minecraft footage. And if you look carefully in the actual video, yes, I do have some Minecraft footage. And this is not staged at all. I totally did not find those diamonds at height level 57. It's not like I went into creative mode grab the diamonds and just made it. This is another shot that didn't make the cut. If you look carefully in the actual video, there is still some Minecraft from my uh, Creeper Quest series that I did with JL Triquetra. And here's the full Skyrim battle thing. And we're actually coming to a close here. I've been talking for about eight minutes. Uh, but we're coming to a close here. This is me just picking off. I'm, I'm looking for that um, kill cam thing that it gives you just with the tracking the arrow. And I'm still... I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. And I'll talk about that in just a second quickly because this video's coming to an end. But it took a long time. I learned some stuff with bows and stuff like that. Anyway, Skyrim. I said it would be coming out after Far Cry. And I wanted to release Flickr before I started doing Skyrim. So, well, yeah, Flickr's released. So Skyrim will be coming out soon. Maybe in one or two days. I recorded the pilot about eight... No, six months ago. So, yeah, it's been going on for a while. And right here see the guy all the way there yeah shoot him here it is oh it's so cool the original one I had was better but Windows Movie Maker didn't like it so yeah anyway quickly I wanna talk about Battlefield 4 I know I'm gonna do Watch Dogs and Sesson Creek 4 I've already pre-ordered them um, but Battlefield 4 I'm not going to buy and or pre-order on release date and here's just some aspect footage because I want to get the premium edition and I always have some sort of special so I'm not actually going to show gameplay but I was thinking of showing you guys commander mode because I consider myself to be a fairly good strategist so what do you guys think you know just a whole bunch of commander mode videos that I recorded oh and I do have a beta series where I actually get to see me playing if you pay attention to my playlists then it's there anyway this is coming to an end I would like to thank you guys for watching to subscribe like favorite comment and all that stuff um, yeah I will see you guys next time this is the Hexagon Zero, signing out.